How you all doing? Yeah, in this video we're going to be working on the CBR1000F forks. We're going to be refurbishing the forks, just painting them basically, and uh, the fork seals are perfectly fine. Uh, I will be undoing the uh, drain screws just to check that the oil looks okay. If it's black I will be replacing it and probably the seals at the same time but I don't know if you can see but the dust seals are pretty shot so we'll be putting some new ones of those on oof, oof, oof. and plus we'll be painting and lacquering A load of other stuff. So without further ado, come on, let's go and get on with it. Okay then, so the first job I want to do is take this top nut off. Well, actually no, it's the second job because I've already done the first job. Uh, what I did was, hopefully you can see that, there's a little drain plug there. So I took that out, uh, forced the fork down a bit, squeezed a bit of uh, oil out and the oil is quite black so I will be draining the oil off and changing it uh, I was thinking about doing the oil seals as well but to be honest they seem pretty okay plus if we go down to this fork leg probably a simple, simple little gizmo but you know why mess about with things when they're there's no need. So yes, I'll just change the oil. I'll leave the seals. I will change the oil oh. seal dust caps, but just leave the seals in as they are. So let's get on with it. So if we crack this on done, it's not in the vice that tight, so hopefully it's just it's gonna undo because I don't want to crush the tube. Uh, the socket is 24 millimeter. Go for it. No, all the forks turning, just to give it a bit more tightness. That's got it. Uh, I'll take it out of the voice actually. Uh, the threads on these nuts are very thin, so it will take a while to unscrew normally. Anyway, let's get it out of the vice. Get it on the floor. There you go, hopefully we're in shot. And hopefully we don't get a bazooka shot straight into the camera. I'm not doing the socket, I'm just twisting the fork. Ah, there we go. The, uh, the threads on these aren't that minute actually. Normally got very fine threads on. So I'll put that to one side. Got the spacer. Put that to one side. Then I'm going to take the spring out without trying to waste too much oil. Like so, put that some put that somewhere safe on the floor. There's another spacer on the top of that, that's why I dropped it. We had a nice clean spring. Now I've got a nice clean spring covered in sawdust. Lovely. Uh, the tightened end seems to go at the bottom. The wider end, that's the wider end. And that's the tightened end. <laughs> okay then, mine is the CBR1000F. And it's the H model. 
Yeah, the spring length should be in between 468.8 millimetres and 478.2 millimetres, which in pound and pence is 18.6 inches or 18.83 inches. So let's see what our is in millimetres. That's 40. 42, 44, 6, 47. So mine is about bang on 47. So yes, just checked it where that black line is. 468 to 478. So mine is 470. So mine is in within spec, I think. Right then. Let's find a plastic jug and empty this oil into it and uh, check the book to see how much there should be in there. And yes, it all looks a bit confusing. So if you want to be confused, stay tuned. Got my jug. It is clean, believe it or not. Uh, so according to this, the fluid ounces should be... Where are we? And according to this manual, there's different amounts of oil in each leg. As it says, right leg, 16.4 fluid ounces. Left leg, 16.7 fluid ounces. But that is 16.4 to 17.0. And uh, the left leg, is 16.7 to 17.4 fluid ounces. Talk about confusing you or what? Now I've just got to work out which is the left leg and which is the right leg. But anyway, I'll just fill that up, see where it goes to. Well, I'll fill it up, just pour the oil in there. It should go to somewhere near that mark, which I can't see that happening, can you? Anyway, let's try it, let's put it on here because you'll be all right, you'll be able to see it better. Oh, come on, everything's trapped and tied up, fucking fuck off. Right. Let's put that there. Get a fork leg, pour it in there, oh, well, that's no use in the fucking ornament is it? going to go nowhere near to the mark is it and it actually looks a lot dirtier than I thought it was so anyway leave it with me while I work out how much is going to come out of here which doesn't look like much and why I figure out what the hell I'm going to do next right then so in the last couple of clips, you probably didn't notice, but I was getting a bit peed off. Uh, so believe it or not, this fork leg has been hanging there for three or four days. And as you can see, that's where the mark should be. And that's where it is all the way down there. So yes, I'm still a bit confused. So all I can do now do what it says in the bulk and top them back up again so let's get on with it right okay ignore that uh, I've had second thoughts uh, with these being all dirty and messed up and I want to get all this paint off uh, put in nice new clean oil in these while they're in this state it's not a very good idea I don't think so first I'm going to clean all this crap off 
and then decide where to go from there. You have a problem with that? Okay then, we've got this far with the forks, but I am pretty or decisive. Get it over to just strip these down and take the seals out, buy some new seals and put them in, or just buy some new dust cover seals, stick them on top and then hope that when I'm riding it in the future, after two weeks, the oil seals don't start leaking. So like I say, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might just buy some new seals and strip these down. So I'm going to leave these as that. And I'm going to get on with some more painting. Plus I'll have a CBR1000F fork seal change video in the future. Anyway, let me do some painting while I turn it over in my little brain. some lacquer on this tank. Uh, it's early morning so it's a bit cold at the moment so, so I'm going to wait for the temperature to rise up and then we can start getting some lacquer on it. Okay then, while we're in the mood, let's paint some more parts and fixings. Done a lots of brackets, handlebars done, bracketry for the uh, bikini fairing, inserts with gold for the uh, side panels, headstock all painted and varnished. Let me show you something else I've bought. Yes, I bought these off eBay. £1.95. I thought that was pretty good actually. And uh, do you want to guess what they are? You can't see through them. No. You'll never guess what these are in a million years, so I better just show you. Are you ready? Yes. 
one on each side which means I'm going to have to lightly rub this one down again put the sticker on let it get used to the atmosphere and then revarnish over the top revarnish relacquer so that's where we're up to look at the state of that you can tell I've been polishing don't you so we'll get that fork leg all cleaned up off the camera and uh, and sleep on it to see if I should buy some new seals and just do a total fork rebuild uh, if you think I should do a total re if you think I should do a total rebuild on the forks and change the seals leave a comment down below and let me know so yes anyway if you've made it this far thanks for watching my video and I'll see you but I'll see you See you in another life, brother.